Hi, my name is Sylvie. I help women feel great and lose weight through fasting and whole food nutrition. On this channel, you will find simple recipes and practical tips that will transform your health. The best part is you won't feel overwhelmed or deprived. In today's video, we are going to talk about fruit fasting and weight loss. Fruit fasting may be a good option to consider for beginners who don't feel ready uh, to go on a water fast. As I will talk about in this video, there are many other options that you may consider if you do not want to go on an extended water fast. But in this video, we will be focusing on how to take full advantage of fruit fasting. Fruit fasting is another type of modified fasting. As you may know, I love the fasting mimicking diet and any type of fast that involves some calories is called a modified fast. And that's the case for fruit fasting. However, I want to make it clear that we are not talking about fruit feasting. So you may not eat as many fruits as you want each day and you should keep your consumption to a kilogram or 2.2 pounds of fruits each day. And that will come up to around maybe five to 600 calories, which is still uh, much lower than what you would normally consume. And that's why it is called fruit fasting. So in this video, I am going to explain exactly what you need to do uh, to take full advantage of fruit fasting and how you can see if it's the right fasting method for you. If weight loss is your main health goal, fruit fasting is definitely a good option. The low number of calories will definitely help you <laughs> drop a few pounds. You do need to realize that to keep the weight off, um, you can just go back to eating normally after doing, say, a seven day fruit fast. So you will definitely lose weight after going on a fruit fast for seven days or maybe even less. But if you wanna maintain the weight loss and keep the weight off, uh, you'll have to keep being careful afterwards. And I think that goes without saying, but I thought I would make things clear to set your expectations straight. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that even though you are eating a low amount of fruits, so you are not uh, overdosing on fructose uh, while you are fasting, um, it will probably be just enough to keep you out of ketosis. And as you may know, ketosis is essential to benefit from autophagy. And autophagy is the process of your body cleaning out all the dead cells, all the junk. That being said, it doesn't mean that a fruit fast has no healing benefit whatsoever. Flooding your body with the minerals and vitamins and polyphenols that come from fruit will certainly have some health benefits. And I actually have read many stories uh, from people who healed certain diseases uh, by going on a fruit fast. And if you have some experience with fasting and you have been in ketosis before, you may be able to be in ketosis at times during your fruit fast if you eat all the fruits that you are allowed um, for the one day at one sitting. So you could possibly, instead of having three meals throughout the day, you could possibly have one meal and then eat your one kilogram of fruit at that one time. And so that would help uh, benefit from autophagy. There are also some guidelines that I would like to share with you uh, regarding fruit fasting and weight loss. As I mentioned already, you will be eating only one kilogram of fruit each day and you will not be fruit feasting. Eat slowly and intentionally. Don't eat on the go. Um, just make sure you sit down and enjoy your fruits. You may find that some fruits don't digest really well together. So you may have to experiment a little bit with that. Maybe a good idea to eat one fruit at each meal. This is called a mono meal. My meal plan, I'll share if you want to check out a meal plan I created, a seven day meal plan for weight loss with fruit fasting. Um, 
check the description below. I'll leave a link there. But when I created the meal plan, I tried to really make these meals simple. A lot of them are mono meals. Some of them may have two fruits, but some people might find that combining too many fruit at one sitting uh, will cause some digestive issues. Make sure you buy organic and as much as possible local fruit. And also drink plenty of water. That is essential no matter how you eat, whether you're fasting or not. Just make sure you drink at least two quarts of water each day. When you fast, the fruits that will give you the most cleansing benefits are apples, grapes, citrus fruits, and berries. And I also made sure I included a lot of them in my meal plan. Another thing I want to mention is that if your body is very toxic, you may find the fruit fast very uncomfortable. You may suffer from detox symptoms. And to help alleviate that, uh, you can start gradually. So what you could do is maybe replace one meal a day with fruit, start with that. Or you could just start with a one day fast and see how that goes. And then eat a clean diet the next day, have another day where you're fasting with fruit. Um, so you can experiment a little bit that way if you are worried that you will suffer from detox symptoms. As I mentioned already, it's a good idea to try to maybe not have three meals a day and bring down the, um, the number of meals to two meals or even one meal. And if you feel too hungry, you can have herbal teas between meals and make sure you drink lots of water. You could have lemon in your water. So the, these are some options that you can try. Now, as far as achieving your weight loss goals, Fruit fasting is not the only option, obviously. And uh, I mentioned that there's other modified fasting methods that you can try, like fasting mimicking. There's also intermittent fasting. And I have a whole video that talks about how long you should fast for weight loss. You can check that out. I, in this video, I go through all the different intermittent fasting methods and I explain how they work. I talk about my experience with trying some of these methods. And so I think you might enjoy this video. You should check it out. Now, what you may wonder is, will it not cause my insulin levels to go too high? We talk about, we often hear about avoiding fruit to avoid uh, insulin spikes and low carbs and keto diets are very popular right now. So you may wonder why a fruit fast for weight loss. There's a couple of things that I wanna mention here. Yes, some people may find that eating fruit makes them more hungry and also uh, increases their appetite. That's what it's all about. We're all different and all of us are gonna react differently to different diets. That being said, many people have been able to heal themselves from type 2 diabetes by eating only fruit. Um, so fruit in itself will not necessarily cause issues with your insulin level. And in the case of a fruit fast, like I mentioned already, you are not consuming a huge amount of fruit. In summary, a fruit fast for weight loss may not be the best option for you, but it may be an excellent option. It's your body and you're the one who knows yourself better than anyone else. So I recommend that you look at your options and decide if it's something you want to try. And then if you feel that, yes, you would love to try fruit fasting for weight loss, then go ahead, give it a try. Maybe start with three days or use my seven day meal plan for weight loss and see where that takes you. I hope this video was informative, that you found it useful and thank you for watching.